happy that they've been giving all the love to our Marvel Legends and kind of kicking these to the side. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another action figure review on the Captain America, the Winter Soldier, Super Soldier Gear, Grapple Cannon, Captain America. This review is brought to you by MarvelousNews.com. Check them out for all the latest Marvel related news. And if you're trying to get this figure, you can't find it at retail, you can get it at Big Bad Toy Store. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So this guy comes with a giant plunger over here. Kind of weird, huh? That's a little strange. Kind of like this Commander Rogers look they have going on for the movie here. I think it's pretty neat. Look at the side of the packaging. I guess you could attach the plunger to the side of your battle helmet. Your Captain America battle helmet. If it even fits adults, that would be kind of funny. And then you have a picture of the figure. And then you get a little bio over here. So enough packaging talk. Let's crack this thing open and see if it's as disappointing as the rest of the figures from the wave. So I think it's a little bit more disappointing than the other figures from the wave. I'm not as impressed with the sculpt on the body of this figure as I was with the other figures. Of course, he has this giant plunger what's it called the real name is the suction dart I mean come on man this thing is just gigantic but of course it's meant for the kids I just don't understand how the kids are supposed to be really into it from my understanding kids mostly like the same thing adult collectors like you know unless you get into really obscure stuff but anyway this is this piece of plastic over here I mean the paint applications on it came out pretty clean there's nothing really to complain about as far as the way it was made aside from it exists so you hit this button right here and whoa it actually stuck to the wall back there Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, I have to give them props for that. That is pretty awesome. I did fire this thing before, but I never really aimed it at the backdrop. I just shot that by accident, and it stuck on there. So let's see if I... Oh, yeah, and it comes right off pretty easy. So, well, you know, it works. It does have this handle right here, and this part goes around the arm. I don't understand what this is all about over here. And he does have a peg hole on his back, and I don't see how this is supposed to be stored on his back. I, no, this peg does not fit in there at all. Nope, nope, nope. And here's his blue and silver shield, which I'm not happy about. Not Hasbro's fault or anything you know this is just the way it's designed for the movie you can tell we have a darker blue right here in the center and it's a lighter blue out here it's all metallic paint so that's pretty cool it came out looking okay it's the same shield as we got with the other movie Captain America so there's your shield comparison right there you gotta weave his hand through here and he holds the shield just fine now I don't think this looks like Chris Evans at all uh, this face sculpt reminds me more of Dwight Stahl than Chris Evans right I don't know he may have made it after himself. I'm just kidding. But anyway, the flesh tone came out nice. The eyes came out pretty clean. He has this nice paint detail right here in his blonde hair. That came out good. I like that. So we have some paint detail in the hair. I don't like how the torso is sculpted. This looks strange to me. I like all the lines and everything, but I just feel like between his abs and his chest muscles, there's too much space. I feel like this is kind of too big up here. It's like there's like an extra muscle thing that shouldn't be there. I don't know. But a lot of nice sculpted lines. This Commander Steve Rogers is a pretty cool look. I feel like it's a little soon, but it looks cool, you know? And then I like how all the silver is painted right here on the buckle straps and everything right here on the waist. He has gloves right over there. It looks like there's supposed to be flesh tone in those little spaces, but we don't see that. The back of the figure looks pretty good too. I like all these lines right here that are making this texture that you can see on his back and on his butt. We get some nice wrinkles over here. Some nice clean red paint applications. The boots look pretty clean. And taking a further look back, it's, it's just kind of a weird torso look. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. He does have pickles at the bottom of the feet and they did sculpt some treads right here. And the articulation of this figure is just as weak as it is on the other one. So his head moves side to side, barely moves up and down. He has shoulders that move outwards, they move forward. He has an elbow that bends 90 degrees. It can rotate at the elbow as well. No torso articulation. His legs move outward. They move forward. He can rotate right here at the upper thigh. He has a single jointed knee and it rotates at the knee. So this figure stands just at about four inches tall. So here's our grapple cannon Captain America compared to the Steve Rogers Marvel Universe figure. And you can see how this is based off of this figure over here or this design that we saw in the comics. Which is pretty neat that they're doing that in the movie. I think that's pretty cool. But this is a cool figure. Much, much taller than this guy. And here he is compared to the new Marvel Universe Captain America figure. And here's all four figures in the way. I think it's very funny how these Captain Americas are not the same height. We have our suction cup Captain America, which is a lot smaller. And at least the Winter Soldier figure from this wave came out pretty cool looking. I have to give him that. But overall, I have to say, as an adult collector, I don't really find this wave of figures to be very cool. I didn't really like the Thor of the Dark World figures either, but at least we got that cool Dark Elf, so I don't know. But it's up to you. I think they had some really cool sculpting and some really cool paint applications. But overall, not for adult collectors, man. These are made for the kids. Especially, I mean, when you look at this thing, come on. These are made for the children. But anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and check out more photos from these figures at MarvelousNews.com. I will catch you guys later. Peace.